I, I, you know, again, you know, it, I can't sit here and, and and discuss, you know, what we're going to do in terms of the all season. But, you know, I would love to have everybody back. I mean, is that realistic? You know, we, I don't know at this point. You know, we've got to get together and, and sit down as a unit and, and discuss personnel moves and things of that nature. But I will say this, you know, Kenyon was a major piece to uh, 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 the puzzle when we brought him on board because we were beat up so badly at the uh, big man position. We had everybody hurt at that particular time. And and Kenyon came in, a guy who's, you know, was sitting at home on the couch not playing, man, and, and gave us a major boost. And, you know, I like <clears throat> everything about Kenyon. I like how he's, um, um, you know, he came in and, and he, did all the, the necessary things to help us, you know, uh, stay afloat. And um, he's, you know, he's my kind of player because he's a tough, hard-nosed guy that plays hard, and I like that. Mike, in the league of, of adjustments, <clears throat> will you have to revamp your offense a little bit? I mean, you went, you had success going small with Carmelo with the four. Will you have to change that? Well, I don't know. You know, I got, you know, uh, from a coaching strategy, you know, I got to get better. I got to do some things different. and. Again, you know, this is the first year I've had this ball club, and uh, a lot of things came out of this season. Uh, you know, I'll, I'm my own biggest critic when it comes to critiquing myself as a coach. Um, uh, I value what I do. Um, I take it very serious, and this summer will be uh, will be spent, you know, going back and recapping, you know, our season and and trying to figure out how I could be better to help the group of guys that we filled it. And, um, um, you know, there's always room for improvement. And, you know, I'll be the first to say that, um, you know, I thought I made, you know, some some nice moves here and there, and <coughs> and I made some bad moves. I mean, that's what coaching is all about. You, if coaching was that easy to where you – you go in and you make all the right moves, life will be pretty damn good, but it's just not that way. And um, uh, But again, I am proud to say today that that our team is headed in the right direction and, and this was a very, very positive season. Shump said yesterday he wants to play in the summer league and, and the fact that he's you're going to have him healthy next year at the start of the season, you know, when he finished, how promising is that for you going forward? Well, it's very promising. I just think Iman, you know, and you got to get tip your hat to him because that injury is a tough injury to bounce back from. And you know when he came back, he was somewhat on a roller coaster ride trying to find himself. We never kicked him to the curb. We we built his minutes, uh, and as his minutes begin to grow and his confidence begin to to grow, we saw some of the the signs of Iman from his rookie year. But you know, again, we got to. <clears throat> understand and realize he's still a young player and sometimes as a coach I tend to expect maybe a little too much from Iman because of what he teased me with as a rookie but that's okay I think uh, this summer would be very pivotal for him uh, as he continue his growth um, uh, and that's why you know we need him to play in the summer league uh, so because he needs the reps I think you know he needs to work and and try to define his uh, his overall game, but where when he comes back next year in vet camp, he's ready to go. Mike Amari said <clears throat> he wants to define his role. He wants to talk to you. He wants to go over how good he is, what he can contribute, and thinks that he needs to discuss that with you. Is that something <clears throat> that, that has to happen? Do you want to do that as well? Where, where well, is Amari in this mix? I think Stad is in a great a great place. I mean. I think first things first, you know, he, we just got to get stacked he healthy. I mean, that's the the major key. I think when he came back, uh, we kind of put him in a role of, of coming off the bench, and um, and he was great. I thought, you know, he started out slow, but once he started to find his rhythm, I thought he was fantastic, you know, playing off the bench for us and uh, gave us another weapon, a low post guy that we could utilize uh, based on the work that he put in uh, last summer uh, with the team. <coughs> Excuse me. But uh, I think first and foremost, you know, we just got to get him back healthy and, and then everything else will work its way out, I think. Coach, can you talk about Carmelo being the season that he had for you when he 
accomplished this year? Hey, I can't say enough about Carmelo. Um, you know, Melo put us in a position <clears throat> to win our division, to have the second, you know, best record in the East, and uh, to get into the second round. I mean, Melo, to me, <clears throat> It became more of a leader this year because he made guys around him better and he benefited for it, for that. So, um, you know, I, I tip my hat to Melo because he had a hell of a season, and uh, but he can't stop there. You know, I mean, you know, we had a conversation yesterday. He's got to continue to grow and and use this summer to to recap and how he can how he can get better to to help us make that next step. Glenn, will you, will, <clears throat> I think the fans really want to know: Will you pursue Chris Paul? Will you? Are you allowed to talk about that? And would you pursue Chris Paul if you could? I'm allowed to talk about it, but it'd be very expensive. So no, I'm not going to talk about it. Uh, it's, it's against the rules to do that. Sorry. Then could I just follow up by saying: Do you need more offense? You were very dependent upon the three this year, which carried you a long way. But do you think you need more offense as a ball club? Hey, we can always use more offense. Every team could could say that and. Uh, and, uh, you know, our, the, the three ball is a trend in the NBA that is uh, going to continue. And uh, we may be at the forefront this season, but we won't be alone.